I'm Dylan Thomas, Team Muscle Tech Athlete. Today I'm here at bodybuilding.com headquarters to take you through one of my back workouts. This back workout is actually geared around getting ready for a photo shoot or a contest. I use this workout to cut down and get shredded. Lots of supersets interspersed with straight sets, so you're getting a ton of density in a short period of time. Let's go do it. First exercise is wide grip pull-ups. We're gonna do about 60 total reps spread across four sets of 15. We're gonna pump the muscle up with blood and it's gonna help us feel out each exercise further on as we go into the workout. If you can't do four sets of 15 pull-ups with your own body weight, try attaching a band to the rack where you're gonna do your pull-ups and this is gonna help you pull yourself up and get the total volume in. Now, moving on to exercise two, we're gonna keep with pull-ups, but we're gonna switch the grip to a neutral. We're gonna aim for four sets of 10. We're aiming for about 100 total reps across the first two exercises to pump the muscle full of blood before we actually move into weighted exercises. One thing to keep in mind when doing this exercise is to get a deep stretch at the bottom of the range. This is going to help us activate the lats more and less of the biceps. Okay, so we've made it through the pull-ups. Now we're gonna move on to some supersets. We're gonna pair neutral wide grip lat pull downs with a wide grip seated cable rep. From here, we're gonna drop our reps down to eight per exercise, but we're gonna keep the sets at four. Now, when you're doing the wide grip neutral lat pull down, what you wanna keep in mind is to prop the chest up and arch your lower back. You're gonna be pulling the bar to your lower chest and this is gonna help you activate the lats and take it away from the bicep. Now we're on to the seated row. We really want to focus on the negative of the motion, so we get a deep stretch of the lats. It's going to engorge the muscle with blood and help us get a deeper contraction when we row the weight. Moving on, we're going to keep the pace of the workout high. We're introducing another superset. This time we're pairing together single arm cable rows and seated rows. We're going to do again four sets of eight for each exercise. Now, I've paired these two exercises together with the intent of pre-fatiguing the muscle on the lighter single arm rows before we move into a heavier weight and take the muscle to failure with the close grip rows. When doing this single arm cable row, you wanna have a slight twist in your torso so that you can get a deeper contraction of the lower lats. As I mentioned, the single arm row is meant to pre-fatigue. So an example of this, I usually select a weight of about 60 pounds. Moving into the two arm close grip row, I'll bump it up to something like 225 to 250 pounds to take the muscle to failure. All right, now it's time to move some real weights. We're done with the supersets and it's on to barbell rows. We're going for four sets of six reps. We're gonna try and pack on some dense muscle at this point. With regards to form, I like to keep my torso at about a 90 degree angle. One thing to aim for when doing this back exercise is to really allow your shoulders to protract forward, stretching out your lats to get a deeper engagement and bigger stretch. All right, we've nearly wrapped up the back workout. It's time to have some fun and pair together penlay rows with a trap bar deadlift. This is all about explosive power and moving some heavy weights. For this one, we're gonna do four sets of six reps. So, to perform this exercise, we're actually going to be doing two reps to count as one rep. So in reality, you're doing 12 total reps of the trap bar deadlift and the pen lay row combined together. First off, you're gonna pick the weight up, doing a deadlift with the trap bar. Then you're gonna lower back down to the ground and do a pen lay row. That's one rep. Now, form-wise, for the trap bar deadlift, you wanna keep your chest up and you wanna explode through the movement as you rise up. When you move into the pen lay row portion of the movement, Again, we wanna stay at a 90 degree angle, similar to the barbell row, but this time we're gonna row our hands more so towards the back. This is gonna allow us to get a deep contraction in the lower lats. This back workout is great for anyone looking to cut down and retain as much muscle tissue as possible. Try incorporating this back workout every five to seven days in your routine. If you've enjoyed this workout and you've got any questions for me, you can find me on Instagram at DylanThomas90. For more free articles and videos just like this one here today, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com. Hit that subscribe button.